That's the 2010 hit Tighten Up from possibly the biggest indie rock band to come out of Ohio, the Black Keys. The six-time Grammy winner's new album, Let's Rock, will be released tomorrow. It's their first in five years. In their only TV interview, Dan Auerbach and Patrick Carney address rumors of their breakup and tell us what took them so long to get back in the studio. This is the first song we did, the Breaking Down. It was the very first idea we even had when we sat down. It Dan Auerbach and Patrick Carney had not performed together in three years when they reunited at Easy Eye Sound in Nashville last fall. When you came in here to start recording, you, you had nothing. Nothing. No, no. All we had was a Ouija board <laughs> and a notepad. But the simple approach has always worked for the Black Keys, known for the raw rock sound of songs like Lonely Boy and Gold on the Ceiling. On their new album, Let's Rock, the songs typically were recorded on just the second or third take. It feels like every time we work on something for, for too long, it just, we, we lose it, you know? just gets worse. What is it you lose, do you think? The magic. The thing that you don't have to think about to get. That's the cool thing. Auerbach and Carney started making music together as teenagers in Akron, Ohio. I mean, when we first started, Pat was just learning how to play the drums. I was learning how to play guitar. But for some reason, we were able to make things that sounded like music somehow. Yeah, I really didn't know how to play the drums. <laughs> Truly, I found Our first show that we played, his drums come, just like exploded. <laughs> it just fell apart. Everything <laughs> fell apart. Like it just exploded. There are drums and parts everywhere. <laughs> what did you do? All over the stage. <laughs> They're like washers flying off, nuts, wing nuts. I was <laughs> chasing, watch. chasing drums around. To get and I was around. singing, watching him, <laughs> watching everything just move away from his body. <laughs> A gritty garage band, they recorded one of their early albums, Rubber Factory, in an abandoned tire plant. 600,000 square foot building, and it, was, it was just us. And there was like, we could look through the floor, there's a hole in the floor that you could see down to like the, the main building, and there were like stacks of tires. Like, wow, there's are still tires down there? No one even bothered moving them. Like, it was like everyone just died of cancer one day. <laughs> and then like the real estate agent's like, come on in. Yeah, there was always some weird sentient cloud kind yeah. of strolling around the second floor. I smoked back then. I think I actually, the smoking actually cleaned the air. <laughs> the Black Keys broke through in 2010 with their album, Brothers, which won them three Grammys. Their next album, El Camino, won them three more. Suddenly, the indie band was filling arenas. Was there a point where the Black Keys got kind of too big? It didn't get too big, it's just we toured too much. And we toured too hard. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason that we did that was because we spent so long making absolutely no money. You can't say no to the work. And it, the shows are a lot of fun, it's addictive. The problem is, is you start gradually just whittling down uh, like your psyche and what you're able to process. They finally took a break in 2015, but as it dragged on, rumors spread it was a break up. You haven't spoken to each other in five years. They make light of it in their latest video, Go. I haven't heard from them in a while now, huh? <laughs> I heard they hate each other. When a therapist sends them to a spiritual retreat. Did you get sick of each other at any point in, in that period of time? Not in a, any legitimate kind of way. Just, Just the kind of sick of somebody that, you get sick of anybody if you're stuck on a boat with them for 15 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? My brothers and I, we used to beat the crap out of each other. Dan and I are more passive aggressive about it, but at some point, yeah, we definitely were like, it's like not that we're sick of each other, it's that we just, you just need space. Because, yeah. you, you know, it's like. Yeah, you, you, it's not that we hate each other, we're just sick of each other's faces. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> can't stand the way each other smell. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's fragrant. <laughs> Auerbach spent the past few years recording a solo album and producing other acts. Carney married and toured with singer Michelle Branch. They have a new son, and Carney's enjoyed the time at home. It's the first time in my adult life, like after the age of 21, 
where I was consistent, like for months, able to like wake up in the same bed. The Black Keys go back on tour in the fall, but Auerbach and Carney say their days of epic touring are over. We won't do that again. We won't. Well, uh, we might, depends if the, if it's like. The price is right. Price is right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the pay is enough will do it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, everything's up for negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like it's them. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> their, their tour starts in uh, September in Las Vegas. There's only about 33 dates booked. I hope they go longer because they are a fabulous live band. And what know. great guys. It's so good to see. I love how they say, no, we didn't really get on each other. We, didn't, we weren't tired of each other, but we, you did sense we're that they just got on each, each other's face. Yeah. <laughs> I like Pat saying you can't say no to the work and Dan saying, you know, that thing that happens in magic that you don't have to yeah, think about. They the, definitely have that. Yeah, they sure do. They always I, have. I like that they went from the from a garage band to filling arenas. You yeah. can still do that yeah. in this day and age. Yeah. Who knew? They're, yeah, they're, they're almost unique in that. There's not many that have pulled that off. But. And did you like Let's Rock? It's, I album? love this album. I think yeah. it's great. It's so good to have them back. And let Five the record show, it's actually an album you have there. This is. is it's, vi white vi it's white vinyl. I'll pull it out. That's really cool. Look at that. Yep. This is, this is one of the first ones that came off the press. If only you had a record player. Yep. I do. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> have one. <laughs> okay. He actually does. I don't. I'll have to borrow yours. <laughs> right? Come in any time. All right, Anthony.